The TikTok algorithm has recently changed and if you're not adapting to this latest algorithm, you're probably already seeing a decrease in the amount of views that you're getting or the amount of followers that you're getting. And all you have to do is simply change the amount of comments that you're getting, the metrics that you're looking at, the content you're creating, and one other thing I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video and it's gonna make all the difference in the world. In fact, it's gonna skyrocket the amount of views and the amount of followers that you're getting. This creator right here just implemented these tactics to gain over 200,000 followers in just 30 days. And this creator was able to do the same thing except they gain over 300,000 followers and the same exact thing can happen to you so long as you stop making the mistakes I'm going to share with you in this video and begin adapting to the latest algorithm which makes it easier than ever before to grow on TikTok. The first thing you need to change is you need to make sure that you're adapting to TikTok's latest features. For example, they just brought back the Discover page, which is gonna make it even easier for you to be able to find exactly what is trending on TikTok. Now, in just a second, I'm gonna teach you about TikTok SEO, and how you can actually rank for search so that you get views 24 seven. But first, I need to make sure you're understanding TikTok's latest features. So if you go to the Discover page now, you're going to see trending hashtags. And if you click into those trending hashtags, you're gonna see all the trending posts under there. What I would strongly suggest you do is browse those every day and see whether or not they're related to your niche. If they are related to your niche, you need to make sure that you're creating content similar to the content being created under those hashtags and use those hashtags because this is one of the easiest hacks right now to increase the amount of views and the amount of followers that you're getting. The second feature you need to make sure that you're using is carousel posts. Those photo swipe through posts are doing absolutely incredible right now. In fact, this creator literally just gained over 14,000 followers in just seven days simply by using those posts and you could do the same exact thing. All you need to do is make sure that the first slide has a really good hook on it, and then slides two, three, four, or even five all tell a story. And essentially what you need to be optimizing for is people getting all the way through to the end, and that last slide should just have a simple call to action on it and give people a reason to follow you. And if you're able to get people to follow you, it's going to skyrocket the amount of reach that you're getting with those posts. And on top of that, I would use these posts in order to figure out what TikTok wants you to post about, because if you're able to do that and then create a video Video about it, you're going to be able to double down on that topic and it's going to skyrocket the amount of views you're getting. Not to mention, it's way easier to create one of those carousel posts than it is to actually think about, record, and edit a really long video. Which, by the way, TikTok is pushing out long form content right now like crazy. But I'm going to share more about that in just a little bit, like exactly what length you should be posting and what other features TikTok is pushing. Now, did you know that more than 50% of people under the age of 30 are actually now coming to things like TikTok in order to do searches for things? They're not going to Google anymore. They're not going to YouTube. They're going to TikTok to actually do searches about things so that they can get more information on those things. And if you're able to rank for search, it's going to result in three things. One, you're getting more views and more followers 24-7. Secondly, you're more easily finding the audience that actually wants to listen to what you're saying, and that's going to make it easier for TikTok to find them also. And three, Three, it's going to lead to a massive increase in the amount of views that you get on everything that you post. Because if you have one video that is trending under search, after somebody watches one of those videos, guess what ends up happening? They end up seeing more of your content. I'm sure you've experienced this for yourself. You see a creator for the first time on TikTok, you watch one of their pieces of content, and then after that, you keep getting suggested more and more pieces of content that they've created. That same thing is gonna happen if you can simply rank for search on TikTok. Now, in order to rank for search, you only have to hit three metrics. First, the key word that people are searching for it needs to be in your hook, it needs to be in your description. Secondly, the piece of content that you create actually has to be relevant to somebody that is doing that search. If it's not, then they're gonna click on that video and swipe away, which is going to decrease its rank in search. And third, you need to make sure that your content is actually better than the other things that show up when you do that search. And the easiest way for you to be able to do this is to do a search, see what those pieces of content look like, and make sure that your piece of content is better once you create it. Now, right now on TikTok's app, there's absolutely no way for you to be able to determine how many of your views are actually coming from search, but today's video sponsor, Metricool, solves that. Essentially, Metricool is gonna allow you to see exactly how many of your views are coming from the Discover page after somebody does a search, and this is gonna allow you to optimize your posts for which ones are driving the most amount of search and what topics are driving the most amount of search. Best of all, if you go to the pinned comment and sign up for Metricool right now, I've secured you 30 days of free access to any of their pro plans if you use code ROBERT. 
And that's not the only thing Metricool does. They also allow you to set up a custom analytics dashboard, which is gonna show you things like which length videos for you are driving the most amount of views or the most amount of followers. And in addition to that, they're also going to show you what type of engagement actually leads to the most views. Because if you think that just getting likes or comments on your posts is going to increase the amount of reach that you get, you're wrong. And if you're tired of feeling like you're operating in the dark because TikTok's analytics don't actually show you what type of content your audience is resonating with, well then please go to the pin comment below and register for 30 days free access to any of Metricool's pro plans today with code ROBBER. The next massive change that you need to make sure that you're paying attention to is trending sounds on TikTok. Now in the last few months, trending sounds haven't mattered all that much, but right now they matter more than ever before because essentially they're gonna allow TikTok to decipher between posts that are relevant and posts that aren't relevant. If you go into a sound right now and then click in the top right hand corner where it says music chart, you're gonna see all the different viral sounds that are trending on TikTok and you're gonna notice two things. One, a lot of them are around holiday sounds and two, a lot of them are recent music that has come out and essentially if you use those sounds within your content it's going to make TikTok think that your content is more relevant and your content is going to get pushed out more. This will not only help you get more views on the For You page, more views on the Discover feed, but it's also going to help you rank better for search because another huge factor that comes into ranking for search on TikTok is how relevant your post is and simply using this updated viral music that TikTok is now giving us is going to increase the amount of reach that you get and how relevant TikTok thinks your content is. Now before I get into the last tip, which is by far the most important, I need to make sure that you're not making the four mistakes that I keep seeing small accounts on TikTok just like yours make every single day. The first is creating content less than five seconds long. Please do not do this. TikTok is not going to push out content less than five seconds long because they think that that content is ineligible for the For You page or if you have a watermark within your content, the same thing's gonna happen. This is gonna destroy your views. It's gonna keep you in 250 view jail. The second thing is you need to make sure that you are only creating content and topics that people are one, searching for, or two, that are trending. If they don't fit those two things, I wouldn't even bother wasting your time creating content on that topic because it's simply not going to get reached. The only thing TikTok is trying to do, because the algorithm works off of an interest graph, is show people stuff that they're searching for or show people stuff that is relevant and what people that interact with content that look like them are interacting with. And the only way for you to do this is to do a search for whatever you're about to post about and see if there are videos that have been made in the last seven to 30 days that have gotten views under that. If there aren't, I wouldn't recommend creating content about that topic. The third thing is ignoring the fact that you need 70% audience retention for the first three seconds. If you're not getting this on your content, it's because of the idea or the hook that you're using. And all you have to do is fix those two things to increase the amount of views that you get. In fact, I literally bet that if you created a 10 second video, the same 10 second video, but just made a better hook in it, you could keep the rest of the video the same, that you're gonna skyrocket the amount of views that you get because again, you're gonna increase the amount of people that stayed for those first three seconds. And then the last tip is that you need Need to make sure that you are not using irrelevant hashtags. I see so many accounts just like yours use either one, irrelevant hashtags, or two, small hashtags, and it destroys TikTok ability to be able to show your content to the right audience, which decreases the amount of people that stick around for the first three seconds, and boom. As a result, you don't get the views you want. Now I will warn you, if you mess up this next tip, it's going to be that thing that destroys the amount of reach that you're getting because essentially what TikTok is doing right now is they're incentivizing creators that niche down even further. And there are two ways for you to niche down. One, you could go after more niche specific topics or two, you could make sure that you're adapting to both the topic and length concept when it comes to TikTok. And if you don't know what that means, I'm gonna explain it in just a second. But essentially what you wanna make sure that you're doing is niching down so that it's really easy for TikTok to know exactly who they should be pushing your content to. And remember, how many views you get and how many followers you get is gonna be directly correlated to how many people are actually interested in the content you're creating right now. For example, if you're a mortgage lender right now, interest rates are incredibly high, so guess what? You're not gonna get as much reach as you might have a year ago unless you're posting about trending things like interest rates potentially coming down six times in 2024. Well, guess what? If you're able to tap into that, it's gonna increase the amount of reach that you could get. Or if you could tie 
tie that to another relevant topic, it's also gonna increase the amount of reach that you get. So if you're in a really small niche right now, what I strongly recommend that you do is you try to expand it slightly by combining two niches together. But remember, this is still you niching down. Now, another thing that we need to touch on is the actual length of content you're creating. There are three best lengths right now on TikTok. The first one is gonna be really short content that is five to 10 seconds long. By the way, never create a video less than five seconds long because they will not push it out. The second best length is going to be in that 17 to 24 second range. And then third, is going to be 60 plus second content. TikTok has literally come out and said that the majority of people on TikTok are interacting with content over 60 seconds long. And essentially, TikTok is trying to compete with YouTube right now. So they're going to begin pushing out longer form content because one, it allows you to make more money. And two, it allows TikTok to make more money. So they're going to keep pushing that long form content. So the only type of content I would be creating right now are one piece of content that hit those shorter lengths or two piece of content that are over 60 seconds long. If you want to optimize for the amount of money that you're making, then I would strongly suggest creating content over 60 seconds long. But remember, you can do everything that I shared with you in this video right, but if you're still not posting at the right time, it's going to destroy the amount of views that you get. So please check out this video right here that's going to tell you the best time to post on TikTok right now.